welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving look since it's only a few days away. I'm super excited because fall is one of my favorite makeup seasons. Uh, not exactly my favorite as far as how cold it gets here, but I love all the cranberries and the reds and the purples. First I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer um, Primer and I'm going to be putting that on with one of these brushes. It's from OPB. Um, and I got a kit of them, like a whole set. So I'm just going to smooth the primer on with that. So I squeeze out a pretty good amount on the back of my hand. And then I just dip the brush in and then you just kind of kind of drag it over your skin like you're painting your face. I really like these brushes because they're super soft. Um, they're a little like bendy so you have to be careful because the handle is not metal. I wish it was um, just to make it a little more sturdy, but I'm sure like with more expensive brands like Artiste, that's the kind of quality you're going to get. I didn't pay a ton for these, but I think the quality of the brush itself is nice. So I like to use it to smooth on primers, um, moisturizers, whatever. I don't really dig it for foundation, but that's just, that's just my preference. I think it's because my skin has so much texture and with breakouts and all that other crap. So for color correction, I'm going to use my Sephora and Pantone Universe color correcting palette. So I'm going to be using the green color over here, and that's going to cover up any redness. today with the Lime Crime Venus palette. Um, this palette has a lot of really nice reds and um, coral colors in it, so I think I'm going to start with those as a base and then move into a different palette. So I'm going to grab my Morphe M441. Um, this is a little fat blending brush. Um, well, he's not too fat. He's a little skinny, but I'm going to start with the color Creation right here um, as my transition color. deep red, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance palette. This palette, if you are a fall lover, this is your holy grail. Um, so I'm going to go in with red ochre, it's this really deep burnt red, and start, um, and start deepening up my crease again a little more just to add more red. going to get a more dense flat brush now. This guy is the Morphe M167. He's just a little flat guy. Um, and I'm going to go in with the color Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's this really nice um, pearly white. I'm going to pack it on my brush, tap off the excess so it doesn't get all over the place, and just Put this on the lid about three quarters of the way across. And then I'm gonna go back in with a fluffier blending brush and just give it a little more of a seamless transition where the red and this pearl shade meet. This is almost like a cut crease um, because you are carving out with this white pearly color, um, but I wouldn't call it a full blown cut crease. a little bit more on the outer edges I'm going to go back into the Venus palette and I'm going to use um, a mixture of creation and then cocoa down here 
And for this one, I'm going to use a little bit smaller of a br blending brush. I'm going to use the Morphe M433. Um, it's got a little stubbier, a little rounder, more domed. Um, and that's going to help to um, concentrate the color right into the crease instead of blending it all over the place. And then last but not least, I'm going to put some glitter on my eyelid. I'm going to use the color Angelic in the Huda Beauty um, Textured Rose Gold Palette. So it's this guy right up here. Um, it's kind of a pink shade with an iridescent gold in it and I just think it is super badass. So I just take whatever finger, um, like I mean, look at this. So I just take it on my finger because you're going to get maximum pigmentation that way. And I'm just going to put some translucent powder onto the brush and then I'm just going to go in and start buffing up here just to make it a little less harsh because right now it's getting, it's getting a little draggish. I think they look pretty even. And then when you're done with this step, you can peel the tape off. Be careful, be gentle with yourself. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with two different L'Oreal um, Pro Mats. I use shade 101 and 102 mixed because I'm paler than shit right now. And then we're gonna bounce. Bitch, trying to cover all of this redness. We could do it. Okay, so I think that's a good start. Um, concealer will be coming, so I don't need to go super ham on the um, foundation. So now I'm just gonna do a quick set with some Laura Mercier translucent powder, um, just to set my foundation so it's not so like and wet on the skin. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Um, this is one of my go-tos. Um, it's thinner. It's not super, super thick and creamy, which I like because then I can blend it out a little bit easier, especially because I do have really dry under eyes. Um, so I'm just going to go in, draw on my War Paint with the under eyes and then I will do the center of my face once I'm done blending because I don't want it to dry too fast and then have cakey creasiness. But I do like cake. So the next step is going to be brows. Um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip, brow, dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I did run out of my pencil that I usually use, the Brow Wiz. Um, so we are going to improvise. I do have the Brow Wiz and I'm just using it to brush out my brows.
so once you have your brows where you think you got the best look you can do, um, I'm going to go in and set with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It's just like hairspray for your eyebrows, it's nothing special. Um, just run it over your brows and just make sure you're putting them in the shape that you want them. Uh, putting the tail how you want it because they won't be moving. Okay, so the next step um, I'm going to do is my under eyes. I'm going to make sure to finish off the um, eyeshadow and just make it all cohesive. So I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and I'm going to go into the red ochre shade and I'm going to mix it with Real Gar, which is this orange beauty right here um, and I'm going to be using an E18 perfect for under eyes so I'm going to mix the two shades and then I'm going to meet the wing over here and just drag underneath the eyes so I'm going to start with my bronzer and I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, this is by far one of my favorite bronzers so I'm going to start with a Makeup Geek rounded blush brush it's a very pretty densely packed little brush. I'm going to just push it in here, tap off any excess, and I'm going to start to carve the general shape that I want. that done um, then you can highlight my favorite part and what I like to do is I use Benefit Watts Up um, it's a cream highlighter and I take a fluffy brush this is the Morphe E20 so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go like this load it up So I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush, um, I got it for like a dollar and it works wonders for highlighter. Um, so the highlighter I'm going to use today is Electric Slide Super Shock Cheek by Colourpop Cosmetics. Lashes. I'm going to use um, Roller Lash by Benefit just to coat my lashes. Okay, so once you got a nice good coat on there, um, you can put some lash glue on your falsies. So the ones I'm using today are House of Lashes Spellbound. Okay, so while I wait for my lash glue to get tacky, I'm going to move on to my lips. Um, I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Studded Kiss Lipstick in the color Lolita. let my lashes dry for a little bit um, to get tacky so now we're gonna put them on all right so this is the final look um, super fall super Thanksgiving um, it's totally appropriate for any family get-together or if you're going out um, but whatever you're doing, I hope you have a really happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you stay tuned, check them out, subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and if you have any other suggestions of things you'd like to see, just let me know.